Are you looking to get some Tinker Toys for your kids? I have some that I want to talk to you guys about that uh, the kids got for Christmas, I think last Christmas, maybe two Christmases ago, I can't remember. And uh, we've been using them for a good long while now, so I figured that I would share you guys my thoughts about them. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that I like to use and have. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So Tinker Toys are uh, these little uh, pieces, they're sticks, and then they have these circle pieces that have a hole in the middle and then a bunch of holes on the side. There's also another part to them, um, besides all the different colored and sizes of sticks, it's this little guy right here. It's like a little tube to be able to connect it to make it longer, and then they also have a larger circle here in case you want some movement with them. You know, they can, they can uh, spin like that, um, to make like a wheel or something like that. So first of all, let's talk about these little pieces. These little pieces right here, <coughs> let's see, this box, by the way, I'll link this up down in the description below if you guys wanna check them out. They, first of all, they give you 15 building ideas on the box, which I thought was really neat. This is a 100 piece set, and um, oh, they also have little caps. Oh boy, I don't know where those are. One thing about Tinker Toys is that you gotta keep them in check or you'll lose them. <laughs> they get you know, underneath the couch and kind of all over the place. So you gotta have like a designated building area for Tinker Toys, kind of like Legos, just a little bit bigger. This is great for ages three plus. I was trying to see how many of these things you get, because right now I can only find one. Uh, they are pretty big. They recommend, like I said, ages three plus. And uh, I think it's because those little cat pieces uh, are a choking hazard. But everything else, like all the, I mean, I guess they could stick the stick in their mouth too, which could be dangerous. Um, but, uh, these, uh, they, these are some of the creations that our kids have made right here. I think this is supposed to be some kind of like weapon, like this, because my son's into the Ninja Turtles, some kind of Psy looking thing. And then this was the weapon that I got. I called it the spinning ball of, uh, spinning ball sword is what I called it. He built that for me yesterday. But uh, I like how this toy let your kids uh, use their creative skills and their imaginations to build things. Um, and obviously they're, they're doing it as you can see right here with what they have. Now, with these pieces, uh, we've had a few of these and they start to break after a while. Could just be that our kids are hard on them and so they're just breaking a little bit more, but I did notice that the, these broke. It'd be nice if they had like uh, some kind of protective sealant on it to help hold it together uh, better. Also, uh, some of the wheels as well, like they have just like a, a wheel like that and then they have the other wheels that I showed you and then they also have a wheel like this where the bigger uh, the they have another hole in the middle and some on the and the four on the side here um these then they don't have as many on the side on the rim here these tend to break a lot um i wouldn't be surprised if i could like break it in my hands here that's one downside that i have to say about these tinker toys is that uh I don't know if they're made from like a pressed wood or some kind of very uh, easily, a wood that's not as strong, but I mean, there's even a, a chip right there you can see, but uh, you know, like these things have broken in half, uh, a whole section where you couldn't even put a stick in the hole in there has broken off on us. So I just wanted to let you guys know that from my experience, the wheel, look, here's a good example right here. The wheels break. Uh, fairly easily. I mean, they, you still get quite a bit in there because it's a hundred piece box, but uh, we have had some that have mishaps. Uh, the sticks don't break though. I will say that all the sticks have been great. I haven't had any of these uh, break on us. Uh, they've all stayed intact. I do like how they color code the different sizes uh, just to make it easier to be able to find, you know, what you need. You can talk to your kids about colors, you know, the green one, the purple one, the orange one, which one's which and all that type of stuff, especially at a young age like three. Um, but all in all, it is a great toy that our kids like to play with. Uh, I like the building and the creativity behind it uh, and all that type of stuff, the engineering. Um, so if you guys want to check this out, like I said, I'll link it up down in the description below. I'm curious to know, have you guys ever played with Tinker Toys? Let me know that down in the comments below. As a kid, just put yes or no. Uh, you know, and maybe put your age, at what age you remember having Tinker Toys. Uh, because our kids, they're five and seven right now, so they got it probably four and six. And uh, they're having a blast with them. They really like them. They love building stuff with them. My only qualm is that some, uh, you know, some of the pieces do break probably because they're trying to like force them into here and whatnot. And, um, oh look, well, oh, well, I take that all back. I just noticed this. One of the sticks 
got stuck in there, but that's probably because my son uh, was <laughs> shoving it in there and then he probably bent it to the side and now it's stuck into there. Um, I mean, they are made of wood. I think they do make some plastic ones as well. If I can find those, I'll link those up down in the description below. But don't just take my word for it. Go down on Amazon, read other people's reviews about it, and see if they're having the same problem. Maybe we just got a bum, bum uh, container here of them. If you guys are liking what we're doing here on Dad Reviews, make sure to click that subscribe button. If you guys are looking for other toys that you might want to get your kids, I'll put a playlist of, of videos right here of the different toys that we've gotten for our kids over the years that they've, uh, that they've liked. So make sure to go and check that out. Great time to start thinking about Christmas and you know all the things that you can might want to put get for them. Like I said, this was a Christmas gift for them, and so uh, and they they still play with it to this day. And it's it's been at least a year, a year and a half, maybe I can't remember exactly when we got them. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna put some more videos right there on the screen. I'd love it if you guys watched more of our videos. That thumbs up is always appreciated. And dad out. Oh, also let me know in the comments what was your favorite toy as a kid.